Thank you. Yes, I should have reminded you that you just need to accept that it's recording. It's a, a relatively new thing on Zoom. So we are going to start in a seated position. I am wearing um, shorts, <laughs> not just in my pants, in case you think, oh my goodness, there's a lot of legs there and not a lot else. Um, I'm actually going to start you off with a cooling breath. Um, this cooling breath is called Sitali. Some of you will have done it with me before. Um, it's called Sitali because Sitali is the Sanskrit word for straw and straw is effectively the, the shape that we make with our tongue to do this breath but I'm going to cut to the chase here and say that not everyone can roll their tongue and make that straw shape so I'm actually going to teach this in an alternative way first and then for those of us who can roll our tongue we'll try the next version um, and you'd get bombed by the cat at some point Shh. <laughs> So the first version, which should be accessible to everyone, is to do a kind of enigmatic type smile. So it's just enough of a, a casual smile that nobody really knows what you're doing, but they do wonder what you're up to. And you kind of keep the size of your mouth quite relaxed, but there's enough of a gap. So you are showing your teeth. There's enough of a gap that you can breathe in through the edges of the mouth. So it looks a bit strange, but we're just breathing in. And then out. Now the intention is to sip the breath in, so nice and slow. And then that breath out. Sipping that breath in again. And then out. Okay, so if you continue with that idea of sipping the breath in, and then allowing the breath to slowly release out. So you, what you'll start to feel over time is that it really cools down over the tongue. It starts to cool down into the temples across the forehead, and then it creates a cooling sensation right down to the sternum. Um, this breath technique is particularly helpful for hot flushes, for those of us who are peri or menopausal. Um, it's a nice way to kind of calm down hot flushes and because we've got this sort of subtle smile nobody really knows that we're doing it you can of course grin like a maniac that's the one that i prefer so you're very obvious what you're doing and when you do that sharp breath in it really is very it's quite a cold blast so you can try that as an alternative Dog's looking at Sue as in, what are you doing? <laughs> so we did about six of those um, deeper breaths in. You can maybe start to feel it cooling, tingling a little bit on the forehead. So the full expression of the Sitali breath is to make this straw shape with your tongue. And I'll remind you that not everyone is able to curl their tongue. So just go back to the first version of the nice, soft, gentle smile. Otherwise, mm -hmm, curl your tongue. And when you do the Sitali breath again, it's that idea that you're sipping the breath in over the tongue. Now I'd like us to try and do 12 full rotations of this. So I won't speak while we're doing it so that we can just focus on that inhale, that exhale. So. So after that fourth breath, I'm getting quite a lot of cool over the forehead, sides of the nose. time you get to that eighth breath you can really feel it down through the throat and it's starting to now kind of cool down over the collarbones mm. 
And I've got to about 10 breaths now and what I've reached is that point that I really like where it almost feels quite cooling in the armpits to me. I feel it almost like a little prickly, prickly cooling rather than prickly heat. So we'll do one last full breath together, sipping the ear in. and release. So just take a moment because sometimes it can also make you a little bit dizzy because obviously we've controlled the breath and it is quite hot today. Um, so it's just quite nice to feel that sense of calm, that little bit of grounding really, the whole of the body temperature being drawn down, but the effect of the breath very much centered on particularly the throat and into the sternum. So I'll let you come um, off of your cross leg position now and we'll come into an all fours position. So in our all fours position, we'll remind ourselves that we want to position the wrists under the shoulders, the knees under the hips and spread the fingers. Turn the toes under, exhale, draw the tummy button in and roll up through the spine nodding the chin towards the chest. Now hold in this position, try not to hold the breath and then gently feel as though you're moving your weight from one shoulder to the other. So you're kind of stretching through the upper back, just taking that curve from one side to the other, lengthening through the sides of the body. Then as you return to center, allow the body to release coming back into a neutral spine position and resting the tops of the feet on the floor. Now widen through the collarbones, engage the core, then inhale to lift the sternum forward. As you inhale, let the core release and feel the lower back round and down towards the mat. So again, we're going to hold this gentle position. Try not to hold the breath and then gently squeeze the hips over from one side to the other. Do it really slowly and gently. This is a very gentle back bend. You're just finding that little bit of release across that tight fascia at the sacrum. And again, return to center, engage the core and return to a neutral spine position. So in neutral spine, the tummy button should be drawn in, the collarbone should be wide. Let's turn both toes under again. Exhale, roll up, create the cat stretch, nodding the chin to the chest. Then on the inhale, reverse the curve, bringing the sternum forward, releasing the lower back. Exhaling to roll up. Inhaling to lift the chest forward. Let's do one more roll up. Come back to that cow pose, lifting the sternum forward. Then release again into that neutral spine. Extend both arms forward, pressing the wrist to the mat, spreading the fingers, keeping the elbows nice and soft, then pushing the sit bones back towards the heels, lowering the ears down between the upper arms. Inhaling to lift the fingertips, pressing the wrist to the mat. Maybe fine tuning any tension you're finding in your lower back by pressing the sit bones towards the heels, keeping that length through the spine. Replacing the fingertips to the floor. Then inhaling to lift and come back to center. Now reset the wrists under the shoulders and take the knees wide. So as the knees come wide, it might feel more comfortable to bring the tips of the toes together. As you bring the toes together, lower the elbows down underneath the shoulders. So we have the forearms rested to the floor. Bring the tips of the thumbs together. Then on and out breath, push the sit bones back towards the heels, lowering the forehead towards the floor. We don't have to get all the way. You might want to aim for the ears between the upper arms. And again, keep that breath nice and slow and steady. You can use that cooling satali breath whenever it feels appropriate to you. Then push into the forearms, inhale to lift up and return again. 
wrists under shoulders, knees once more under hips. Now take the right foot back, turn the toe under, gently pushing through the heel to find a little extra length in the back of the legs, particularly in the calf. So I'll remind you, I often say this in the summer, don't I, that if you're wearing flip-flops, there's a tendency to kind of grip hold with your toes and hold your shoes on. So we tend to find that the muscles become very tight in the calves. So just take that extra release, then bring that right knee in, take the opposite foot back, push through the left heel. Remain wide through the collarbones, engage through the core. Then slide that left knee back in again towards centre. Now let's come down once more onto the forearms. We want this time to have the elbows either side of the chest so that we can walk the feet back and bring the thighs, the belly and the chest to the floor. Inhale to lift the chest. Then on and out breath, turn to look over one shoulder. Then inhale to look forward, turn to look over another shoulder, then turn again to look forward. Lower the chest and the forehead to the floor. Keep that left forearm on the mat as you draw the right heel in. Take hold of the ankle, squeezing the heel in towards the sit bone. A little tilt of the hips to press that thigh into the mat. Pushing into the left forearm, inhaling to peel the chest off the floor. Then on the out breath, release. Replace that right foot to the mat, bring the right arm forward, left heel in. We want to ensure that we're not pulling that heel out to one side, so keep it stacked over the sit bone. Push into the forearm on the right side, then inhale to lift the chest. Keep pressing that left thigh into the mat. It intensifies the stretch. Then release, relax. Bring both feet to the floor. Bring the elbows back again, either side of the chest. Then inhale to lift again into that lovely low sphinx pose. So thighs relaxed, everything soft. On the out breath, lower down. Repositioning the hands either side of the chest, drawing the elbows in now. Push down into the palms. Take that length as you drive the sit bones towards the heels. Breathing once more into the sides of the ribcage. Every out breath, pushing the sit bones back to the heels. Again on the in breath, we'll lift the fingertips, pressing the wrists to the floor. So we're just keeping that space in the back nice and soft. Replace the palms, inhale to lift the chest forward and then by degrees we'll find our comfort of drawing the thighs towards the floor, releasing the shoulders back and down and opening the heart centre. If you rest on the tops of the feet that'll be much more comfortable. Then on the out breath, engage the core, release back. Return again. So that nice all fours position, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, elbows nice and soft, turning both toes under, rolling up again through the spine, then reversing that curve once more, opening the sternum forward. Then releasing, coming back to that neutral spine position. So just double check that the knees are directly underneath the hips, that we haven't strayed wide. We'll take the hips over to the right side, draw them back to center, then take them over to the left. So we're effectively just driving the hips from one side to the other. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of movement here as we imagine that we're drawing a figure of eight with the hips. So rather than going from side to side, we kind of round off those sharp edges, drawing a little circle might make the knees click and creak. <laughs> it's all good. Then return back again to centre. Once more, turning both toes under, exhaling to roll up through the spine, 
Try to concentrate on the space in the lower back rather than the space between the shoulder blades. Then rest on the tops of the feet and inhale to lift the chest forward. On the out breath, engage the core. Take a moment in that neutral spine position and then I'll bring you into a seated posture. So your choice whether you come into a cross leg position or whether you prefer to go wide legged. If you know that your hips feel a little tight, you might prefer to put a block or a brick underneath your bottom. I'm going to start in a cross leg position with the right foot to the front. Now let's bring the hands either side of the hips and we'll just take a moment to soften the shoulders. So squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift the shoulder blade, shoulders up towards the ears. Then on the out breath, just shrug and let them go. Inhale to squeeze the shoulders up. Less of a shrug now, more control as you roll the shoulders back and down. Let's turn that into drawing circles with the shoulders. So there's quite a big range of movement to be found here. Then this time as you release the shoulders down, bring the hands behind the lower back without adjusting your position. So no leaning forward here, keeping that plumb line from the back of the head to the tailbone. Then sliding the arms away from the lower back, opening through the chest. Then as you exhale, release and separate the hands. Extend the right hand away. Lift the left hand up, looking up to the middle finger of that hand, drawing the right elbow in towards the side of the waist, coming over the midline of the body, tucking the chin into the armpit. Inhale again to lift, back to centre, then open into the opposite side. So again, you're mindful that you're not drawing that right shoulder forward. We want to keep rotating that side of the ribcage up towards the ceiling and reaching for that lift through the side of the waist and the ribcage. Inhaling to come back to centre. Repositioning both hands in front of the ankles. So if you've chosen wide leg, this will feel a little bit harder on the inner thighs. On the out breath, we're going to start a little walk forward. And we're not in a rush to get our arms too far forward. We kind of want to be soft in the shoulders. Just let the elbows release towards the floor. Keep widening through the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together. If you've gone too far too fast, you might notice your bottom has lifted from the floor. So try to keep pushing the sit bones back to the mat. Now draw the gaze to the end of the fingers. Lift and lengthen and walk the hands back again towards the ankles. Now replace the hands behind the hips, shoulder blades drawn together. Inhale to lift the sternum, turning the gaze up towards the ceiling. Then on and out breath, release and bring your gaze forward. Switch that leg cross over, so opposite foot in front or behind. And we're going to park the hands onto the outsides of the knees. So it's kind of like we're holding onto the knees. As you exhale, draw the tummy button in, roll through the spine, rub the chin to the chest. Then as you inhale, slide the hands to the tops of the thighs and inhale to draw the chest forward. So exhale, rolling into that cat stretch. Inhale, lifting back to centre, into that seated cow pose. Exhale, rolling back. Inhale one more time, lifting up. Then we'll keep that nice lengthened posture, back of the head lining up with the tailbone, core engaged as we float the hands up to chest level. Bring the palms together. We'll stack left forefinger to the top of right, turning the hands in towards the heart. On the out breath, turn the hands inside out. On the in breath, bring the arms up overhead. Keep those shoulders released back and down, wide through the chest, engaged underneath the shoulder blades. Press through the palms. And if you feel yourself starting to heat up again, perhaps you might want to reintroduce that satali breath to cool you down.
on the next exhale, keep the core engaged and float the hands back again to chest level. Turn the palms again towards the heart. Then as you separate, bring the hands behind, right forefinger stacked to the top of left, shoulder blades together and slide the hands away from the lower back so you get that stretch through the chest. Then separate the hands, reposition the hands either side of the hips. You can either choose to repeat that simple lift, or if you prefer, you can find a little more space through the front of the body by pressing the shins forward, lifting the bottom from the floor, and coming into a nice open, lengthened stretch. Then replace the sit bones to the floor and come back again to that centered position. Lovely. So I'm going to suggest that you find a comfortable um, Shavasana position now. So a position that you can lie down in that you won't feel distracted in. Um, when I uh, talk about the Yoga Nidra, I'll talk about the importance of staying still, of not shuffling about too much, not being too distracted. Um, so if you need a pillow, if you need, um, pillows are nice actually under the knees when you're doing any um, lengthened relaxation. If you need a cushion under the head. And as I've been seeing in these recent weeks when it's a little bit warmer, the more surface area you give your body, the better. So if you're used to kind of lying quite tight, you might want to spread the arms and the feet a little wider. Palms turned up towards the ceiling. And we'll just take a few moments to notice how your body connects with the floor beneath you. Enjoying the idea of releasing the weight of your bones to the floor of submitting the weight of your body and slowly releasing anywhere that you know you hold tension. We typically hold tension in the jaw, in the temples, in the back of the neck. To remind yourself to unclench here to rest the tongue in the well of the mouth and to slow the breath down. Welcome to the practice of Yoga Nidra. Welcome home. The first part of the practice is simply to become comfortable. When you are able to rest comfortably, settle into your chosen position and allow the body to become still, knowing that there is no need for any further physical movement during this practice. Experience the state of zero desire for movement. If that state is not present, then make whatever adjustments are needed so that you can feel comfortable and not distracted. The ideal state for the physical body during yoga nidra is zero desire for movement. If the desire to move does arise during this practice, simply watch it. It will probably go away and you can remain still but if the desire to move returns, then that's a signal that you need to move with awareness, with the full intention of regaining comfort and stillness and returning again to this state of zero desire for movement. Now become aware very precisely of the position in which you are lying. Know the shape and the posture of your body. Know the shape and the arrangement of your room that surrounds you. 
Feel the points of contact between your side, lower back, and the floor. Remain aware of the gentle rhythm of your natural breath. Just spending some time here feeling the breath coming in and the breath going out. If you feel quite comfortable to breathe easily in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils, then breathe that way. If you would prefer to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, then do that. Just allow whichever is the most comfortable and easy way of breathing to arise for you naturally. Allow the outgoing breath to release the weight of your body down into the support of the earth beneath you. With every exhalation now, consciously transfer the weight of the body down through its points of contact with the floor into the support of the floor beneath you. Every exhalation is a letting go, as if you could give away the whole weight of the body. Be with the gentle rhythm of the natural, easy breath. Allow the breath to settle deeper into stillness with every exhalation. Know that you're in the lap of Mother Earth. Let her carry your weight. Now take a moment here to observe the stillness and the quietness of the body. As the body comes into a state of deepening stillness, allow for the breath to become more spacious and free. Listen to the sound of the breath. Hear all the other sounds that are audible right now. Let them in. Then let your focus rest with the intimate sound of your breath coming in, going out, your full attention on the sound closest to you. Feel the stillness of the body, the spaciousness of the breath. And know that your practice of yoga nidra is held safely in a place of protection and security. Know that the boundaries of this practice are secure and that as you enter into the state of consciousness, which is yoga nidra, you are held safely within this protected space. Now invite the mind to follow the example of the body and the breath to become stiller and quieter. Invite the mind to create a single form of consciousness. Allow that form of awareness simply to be, I am practicing yoga nidra. I am practicing yoga nidra. I am practicing yoga nidra. Let that be the form of consciousness for the rest of the practice of Yoga Nidra. Now allow the focus of the mind to accompany the breath. Tune into that inhale, that exhale. Then on your next exhalation, Breathe down as if the breath could enter into the space of the heart. Feel as if the heart herself is breathing. Evoke there in the heart a feeling of gratitude, a sense of gladness, simply for the opportunity to practice yoga nidra. Feel this gratitude 
as a gentle warmth that radiates from your heart. Breathe into this warmth and be thankful for the opportunity to practice Yoga Nidra. As the mind enters the heart, hear the breath of the heart as if it were the voice of the heart's own wisdom. Listen to the breath of the heart. Now here you can create your own Sankalpa. Perhaps you have already a positive affirmation, a heart's prayer or resolve. We can turn into an affirmation to be repeated over three times in the present tense as if it's already happened. I feel calm. I feel cool. I accept any challenges with calm and grace. Think of your own personal resolve and repeat that Sankalpa to yourself three times in the present tense. Being open now to whatever wisdom may come through to you on the heart of the breath. Knowing that your Sankalpa, or the guidance of your heart, is now like a seed that has been planted in the fertile soil of gratitude and gladness. It's surely already growing and thriving, manifesting in your life. Now take your attention back to the physical body as we prepare to guide the mind around the body. As if the light of the mind's attention comes to shine on each part of the body in turn. Whilst the mind travels freely following the instructions, the physical body remains motionless and takes deep rest. Allow for the light of the mind's attention to take the form of bright little stars. As consciousness travels to each part of the body that's named, Place a star on that part of the body, leaving it to twinkle there. It's as if the whole body begins as a dark night sky and the mind travels around it, bringing bright starlight to each part, the body illuminated like a great constellation of stars in the sky. Now bring awareness to the tip of the tongue and shine a bright star at that point. Then place twinkling stars on the floor of the mouth, the roof of the mouth, the upper teeth and gums, the lower teeth and gums, the inside of the right cheek, the inside of the left cheek. Move the awareness to the inner part of the right ear and shine bright stars all the way through and around the ear. Right around to the outer part of the right ear, the lobe of the right ear, the shell of the right ear, the whole of your right ear. Now move the awareness to the inner part of your left ear. Shine bright stars all the way through and around the ear through to the outer part of the left ear, the lobe of the left ear, the shell of the left ear, the whole of your left ear. Feel both ears twinkling with the starlight of conscious awareness. Now shine a bright star on the back of the head in the place between your ears. Shine a bright star at the top of the head. Have a star twinkling right there in the crown of your head. Then place a twinkling star at the right temple, the left temple and the forehead. A star on the right eye, 
one on the left eye, stars at the right eyebrow, along the left eyebrow, in your eyebrow centre, along the right cheek, left cheek, and at the nose. Shine a bright star on the right nostril, the left nostril. Let there be a star at the bridge of the nose and a star at the tip of the nose. Move the awareness down to shine a star on the upper lip, the lower lip, the chin, and all along the jawline. Be aware of the whole head. Feel the whole head twinkling with tiny stars, light of conscious awareness. Now move your awareness to the neck and the throat. Shine a star on the right collarbone, on the left collarbone. One twinkling now in the place between both collarbones. Now move the awareness to shine stars onto the right shoulder and armpit, the right upper arm, the elbow and forearm, the right wrist, the back of the right hand and the palm of the right hand. Take the awareness to the right hand thumb and shine a little star there. One each twinkling on the index finger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger. Be aware of the whole of the right hand twinkling with the starlight of conscious awareness. Now carry the attention back up the right arm and across over to the left side. Shine stars on the left shoulder and armpit, the left upper arm, the elbow and forearm, the left wrist, the back of the left hand and the palm of the left hand. Take the awareness to the left hand thumb and shine a little star there, leaving one each twinkling on the index finger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger. Be aware of the whole of the left hand twinkling with the starlight of conscious awareness. Now carry this awareness to the centre of your chest. Place little stars twinkling now along the length of the breastbone, into the right side and ribs, the left side and ribs. Shine a star in the middle of the right shoulder blade and the left shoulder blade. A star twinkling in the space between two shoulder blades. Stars at the back of the waist, at the right of the waist, at the left side of the waist. Stars twinkling in the lower back, on the right side of the pelvis and the left side of the pelvis. A star shining in the right buttock and the left buttock. A bright star at the navel and a star at the pubic bones. Now take your attention to the right groin and shine stars there. Onto the top of the right thigh, to the back of the right thigh. A star twinkles at the kneecap and in the back of the knee. On the calf, shin, ankle, heel. Shine stars along the sole of the right foot over the top of the right foot. Five little stars are twinkling, one each on the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and little toe. The whole of the right foot and leg are twinkling with the starlight of conscious awareness. Now take the attention to the left groin and shine stars there. To the top of the left thigh, to the back of the left thigh. 
A star twinkles at the kneecap, in the back of the knee, on the calf, the shin, the ankle, the heel. Shine stars along the sole of the left foot, the top of the left foot. Five little stars are twinkling, one each on the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and little toe. The whole of the left foot and leg are twinkling with the starlight of conscious awareness. Be aware now of the whole body. Be aware of the whole body. Be aware of the stars twinkling now along the whole of the right side, foot and leg, hand and arm, the whole of your right side twinkling with the light of conscious awareness. Be aware of the stars twinkling now along the whole of the left side, foot and leg, hand and arm, the whole of the left side, then both sides together. Now bring the light of the mind's attention to shine now inside the body, into the womb space. Perceive that the light here shines in the form of a little moon, a little moon inside you. See the light of the inner moon shining. See all the little stars twinkling now in the constellation of the whole body. Bring the light of mental awareness to the whole of the right arm and hand. Now take that awareness to the whole of the left arm and hand. Now become aware of both arms and hands together. Take your awareness to the whole of the right leg and foot. Transferring that awareness to the whole of the left leg and foot. Now be aware of both legs and feet together. Be aware now of both arms, both legs together. See the starlight twinkling through the whole of the right side, through the whole of the left side, both sides together. Be aware of the starlight twinkling in the whole of the head and the moonlight shining in the pelvis. Once more, be aware of the whole body, like a constellation of tiny stars shining. Be aware of the whole body, like the night sky, twinkling with the lights of conscious awareness. Feel the whole of your physical body resting on the floor. Remain alert and attentive to the practice. I am practicing yoga nidra. Let that form in the present tense be your awareness. I am practicing yoga nidra. Now tune in once more to the breath. And as the breath goes out, experience a sensation of extreme heaviness. Feel that the physical body is so heavy that the bones might settle right down into the earth. So heavy. So heavy. Then notice as the breath comes in, 
that you start to experience a sensation of lightness. As if the whole body was so light that it might even float up like a puff of smoke moving up into the sky. So light, almost weightless. As the breath moves, alternate between these two sensations. Heaviness on the exhalation and lightness on the inhalation. Exhaling heavy, inhaling light, exhaling heavy, inhaling light. Now stop alternating between these two extreme sensations and take a moment to invite both to be held simultaneously. Be aware of heavy and light at the same time together. Now let go of this practice and simply become aware of the natural weight, shape and form of the physical body as it rests on the floor. Feel the whole of your physical body resting on the floor. Once more aware of the movement of the breath. And as the breath goes out, Allow for the light of the mind's attention to focus entirely on a single point in the centre of your heart. Like a little point of light is there. On the out breath, gather the attention further and further inwards to rest at that single point of focus, a tiny point of light in the centre of the heart. As the breath comes in, Experience a sensation of expansion, as if that tiny point of light were radiating outward through the whole body and beyond. On the inhale, carrying the light out into an expanding field of spacious awareness radiating from the heart. As the breath moves, alternate between these two experiences. On the exhalation and inward gathering and focus. On the inhalation and outward expansion and radiance. Exhaling into a single point in the heart. Then inhaling outwards to expand the light. Exhaling. Inhale. Now let's stop alternating between these two extremes and again invite both to be held simultaneously. Be aware of the single point and the expanded awareness at the same time, together. Now let go of this practice and simply become aware of the natural boundaries, the shape, the form of your physical body as it rests on the floor. Just notice the body breathing. Be aware of the breath entering and leaving. It's as if the body is being breathed. There's no effort involved. The breath is simply coming in and going out as if the body and the breath were old friends. The breath simply lets itself in and out of the body with no formality, just comes and goes. 
Be aware of the body being breathed. Let the focus of the mind's attention rest with each breath. And I invite you to count these breaths. As you come to your next exhalation, let that be the number nine. Then for every subsequent exhalation, count down to zero. It doesn't matter if the count goes astray, just simply begin counting again. The point of the counting is to keep the mind attentive to each breath. Now we can leave that practice of counting down as you direct the whole focus of your mental attention back once again to the space of the heart. Tune into the heart's breath and know that it carries the voice of the heart's guidance. Listen now to the guidance of the heart's wisdom Hear the words of your own Sankalpa, your positive affirmation. Hear it repeated over three times in the present tense as if it's already happened. Nurture the seed of resolution that you planted at the start of this practice. Know that the Sankalpa grows and flourishes now in your life. Experience the feeling of embodying the reality of the heart's guidance, of living the Samkalpa. Now, now remind yourself of the form of awareness that has been present throughout this practice. I have been practicing Yoga Nidra. I have been practicing yoga nidra. I have been practicing yoga nidra. Know that this practice of yoga nidra has been held safely around you, in your place of protection and security. Know that the protective nurturing that has held the boundaries of this practice will continue to surround and protect you as you come towards the end of the practice and into your day and week ahead. Be aware that the protection and the blessings of this practice of Yoga Nidra come now out with you into your everyday life. Now once again direct the attention to the rise and fall of the natural breath. Allow the breaths to become a little deeper, a little noisier, so you can hear the sound of your own breath entering and leaving your body. Listen to the sound of your own breath and feel your body moving with each breath transaction. Sense now that each inhalation is a waking breath, bringing vitality and strength to the body. With each inhalation, feel the body return to a waking state, full of energy and life. Be aware now that the body is refreshed, that the mind is wide awake. Now I invite you to remain here in this state of awareness. Receptive to the sound of the singing bowl.
Feel your body absorb the healing energies and the vibrations of the ball. Now begin to make tiny movements. Touching the tip of each finger with the tip of the thumb. Stretch out the fingers, wiggle them. Stretch out the toes, wiggle them. Turn the wrists and the ankles. Then stretch and release through the muscles of the arms. Stretch and release through the muscles of the legs. Take a moment to hug the knees in towards the chest, rounding the lower back to the floor. Rocking from one side to the other, if that comforts you. Now replace the feet to the floor and take a moment to gently turn through the back of the head to release any tension in the neck and to wake up through the head. Becoming aware again of your space within this room, connecting once more with the earth beneath you. Turning the palms down towards the floor Taking a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. A further deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And if it comes naturally to you, on the next exhalation, release with an audible sigh. You're wide awake. Wide awake. So take your time now to roll to one side, pausing there to blink the eyes open and return again to a comfortable seated position. Now bring your hands to an Anjali Mudra. Touch to the head for kind thoughts, to the lips for kind words and to the heart for kind intentions. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.